This past Thursday night marked the debut of the Signature Theater's highly anticipated production of Tony Kushner's epic Angels in America. On stages, Frank Delella caught up with the Angels company on opening night, and he joins me now with details. Frank. Thanks, Donna. For its 2010-2011 season, Off-Broadway's Signature Theatre Company is celebrating Pulitzer and Tony Award-winning playwright Tony Kushner. Kicking off the season is Kushner's seven-hour masterpiece, Angels in America Parts 1 and 2, Millennium Approaches and Perestroika. I got the chance to speak with the company about bringing this emotional drama back to the New York stage. Oh, look at this! <laughs> Last seen on Broadway more than 15 years ago, and following in the footsteps of the acclaimed 2003 HBO special, Tony Kushner's epic tale about love and identity, set in the early years of the AIDS epidemic, returns to New York. It felt like it was a good time in the world to bring it back, and, and I think it feels timely again, which always makes me happy. Under the direction of Michael Greif, the so-called gay fantasia on national themes features a cast of eight, made up of New York theater favorites and one newcomer. The gay community, I think, has to adopt the same attitude towards drag as black women have to take towards black women blues singers. Zachary Quinto, best known for his work on the big and small screens, makes his New York theater debut with Angels, playing the role of Lewis Ironson. I'm so thrilled that the opportunities that I've had in L.A. Uh, have been translatable to this experience. Um, it's always been my goal um, to establish myself firmly enough in Los Angeles to be able to come back and have me doing theater mean something. Mainly considered actors of the musical stage, Christian Borle and Billy Porter fill out the ensemble as the characters Prior Walter and Belize. I think as an actor that's primarily been in musicals, it's fun to kind of show people that it's all just acting. I just don't break into song. A couple times I break into song. With harmonies, with Billy Porter, with Broadway's Billy Porter. I fell in love with the character the first time I ever saw it. You know, it was the first time that I had seen a representation of myself. You know, an African-American homosexual man who was not the butt of the joke. And while the run is nearly sold out at the signature, I had to ask the playwright about transferring this revival to the Great White Way. I, it's been on Broadway. Uh, I don't even know that I really want it to go. I mean, I really love it. I think people are saying over and over to me that the intimacy of this space gives it a dimension that I think, you know, an 800, 900,000 seat house doesn't have. I'd be happy if it stayed here for as long as we can keep it here. If it wants to move to Broadway, that'll happen too. And Angels in America is currently running at the Signature Theater now through February 20th. And of course, the signature will continue its celebration of Tony Kushner with a new production of The Illusion, directed by Michael Mayer, that opens on April 19th, as well as IHO, The Intelligent Homosexual's Guide to Capitalism and Socialism with a Key to the Scriptures. That will be directed by Michael Greif and will be co-produced with the Public Theater. IHO is scheduled to open on March 22nd.